Hello children. In this video, we are going to continue with our exercise 9.2 of chapter rational numbers. In this, in this exercise, in this question, we are going to talk about division of rational numbers. Whenever there is a division of rational number happening, always remember there is a multiplicative inverse has to be involved. So here, what multiplicative inverse or in simpler words, reciprocal of which term has to be taken? Now the first term remains as it is, only the second term has to be inverted. When you are inverting, that means you are making the reciprocal of it or you can call it as multiplicative inverse, it's one and the same. So what happens to 2 upon 3 when you find its multiplicative inverse is that it would become 3 upon 2. So your answer would be minus 4 into 3 upon 2. Now 2 can cancel 4. When 2 cancels 4, what happens is minus 2. Now 3 remains as it is, so minus 2 into 3. So my negative multiplies positive, so answer is negative. 2 3s are 6. Now the next question here, we have minus 3 upon 5 divided by 2. Now here this 2 doesn't have a denominator, but we know all the integers are rational numbers. And when integers are rational numbers, the denominator that they have is 1. So here also there is a denominator of 1. So when you are finding the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of 2, it would become 1 upon 2. Therefore, you are multiplying minus 3 upon 5 multi into 1 by 2. So minus 3 1s are minus 3, 5 2s are 10. So answer is minus 3 upon 10. That's the final answer. There is no cancellation happening. So therefore, there is no reduction. Now next question here. Again, we have negative 3. Now this negative 3 is again an integer and the denominator that we cannot really see here is 1. Now therefore, the reciprocal of minus 3 would be minus 1 upon 3. And therefore, we are going to continue with multiplication. So minus 4 upon 5 multiplies minus 1 by 3. And since there is no uh, cancellation that could take place, so answer will be direct multiplication. Minus 4 into 1 is minus, uh, sorry, positive 4. 5 3 is a 15. So that is a final answer. Now the next equation minus 1 upon 8 divided by 3 upon 4. Now the reciprocal that has to be found is of second term. Always remember that. So 3 upon 4, the reciprocal will be 4 upon 3. So minus 1 upon 8 multiplied by 4 upon 3. Now here there is a cancellation that is possible. That is 4 divides 8. When 4 divides 8, you get 2. And here 4 divides 4, you get 1. So 1 into 1, that is minus 1 into positive 1, minus 1, 2, 3 is a 6. So our final answer is one, minus 1 upon 6. Now here again we are going to find the reciprocal, reciprocal of 1 by 7. Now when you find the reciprocal of 1 by 7, your answer would be minus 2 upon 13 multiplied by 7. Now the numerators would multiply and denominator which is 1 would multiply 13. So minus 2 into four, 7 is minus 14, 13 ones are 30. Now here again the same process we are going to find the reciprocal of minus 2 by 30. Now whenever we are finding the reciprocal of a negative number, remember that the minus sign though carried by numerator here would still be carried by numerator when you are finding its reciprocal. That means the reciprocal of minus 2 upon 13 would be minus 13 upon 2. The minus sign should not be omitted because what we are doing here is multiplicative inverse, finding the multiplicative inverse, not the additive inverse. If we are finding the additive inverse, then the minus sign would be omitted. But since it is multiplicative inverse or reciprocal, the minus sign is retained and minus sign is always retained by numerator. Though the number exchange places, still the numerator should carry the minus sign like it is seen here. Minus 7 upon 12 multiplies minus 13 by 2. Now the minus sign though it was carried by 2 in the question, when you find its reciprocal, the minus sign would still be in the numerator place. That is called as convention. By convention, this is the answer. Now next step would be multiplication. Minus 7 into minus 13, positive 91. 12 twos are 24. That is the final answer because there is no cancellation that could be done here. Lastly, 3 upon 13 divided by minus 4 upon 65. Again, we have to find the reciprocal of minus 4 upon 65. Now, when we are going to do that, remember that if there is a cancellation happening, do it beforehand. Or else, it would be a big number, cancellation of which would be a little difficult to do. So, it would be 3 upon 13 multiplied by minus 65 upon 4. Now, 13, 5 are 65. We know that these numbers are in the table of 13. So, 13 ones are 13 into minus 5. 13 into minus 5. So, 3 multiplies minus 5, you get minus 15. 
4 multiplies 1, you get 4 as your answer. So, this is your final answer for this question, minus 15 by 4. With that, we come to the end of the exercise. We will meet again in the next part with the activity based on rational numbers. Have a good day. Now, what is the aim of the activity? The aim is to find three rational numbers between two rational numbers. In our activity, our two rational numbers are 0 and 1. And we are going to find at least three rational numbers between them using the folding method. Now, our conclusion will be there can be infinite rational numbers between any two rational numbers. How do we do that? How do we say that? We say that because our paper can be as long as we want and it can have any number of foldings there. That is why our conclusion there can be infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Hello children. Now we are going to have an activity for rational numbers. In this activity we are going to find three rational numbers between the, any two rational numbers. Here we have taken 0 and 1. Now first you will have a rectangular strip of paper cut out like this and then in the middle of it you will have a line drawn. The edge of it will be 0 and 1. The rational numbers in between which we are going to find three rational numbers. Now to do that first fold the strip into half. Now this first folding is our first rational number. Mark it. It is 0 and 1. Okay. And then now our, we got our first rational number. Now fold back in this fashion. In the middle of it you must get your foldings. So now you got your paper like this. Open it. And here mark the foldings. Now we got three rational numbers. Now what are these rational numbers? Let's count the spaces. 1, 2, 3 and 4. There are 4 spaces. That means our denominator is 4. So this 0 is actually 0 upon 4. Then the first one will be 1 upon 4. Then 2 upon 4 which can be reduced. And you can write it as 1 upon 2. And then 3 upon 4 and lastly 4 upon 4 which when reduced you get 1. So these are the rational numbers found between 0 and 1. If you fold it many more times you can get as many rational numbers as you want. That is why it is said that you can have infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So that's our activity which we are going to put up in our activity booklet. Like I said the first page then the index page, the first activity now one and then A and then here you paste your this thing and the excess can be folded back like this and then write the conclusion. That is our activity. Have a good day.